Hi guys, my name is Minhaj Dean Ansari and you're watching the 22nd tutorial on C programming and we will be talking about how we can add hexadecimal numbers together. Now, I'm teaching you this because our addresses in the C language, they are represented in hexadecimal notation, which is of base 16. So if you haven't learned about number conversions yet, I suggest you go check out a website and learn about number conversions, about different notations you can represent your integers in. So simply your integer numbers can be represented in four notations. The binary notation, which we learned in the beginning, the decimal notation, which you always do from zero to nine, the octal notation and the hexadecimal notation. And addresses in the C language are integers, but they are represented in the hexadecimal notations. And in the next videos, we're going to talk about pointer arithmetic in which will I will be adding two hexadecimal numbers. That is why I'm teaching you about hexadecimal addition in this video. So again, if you haven't learned about number conversion yet, I suggest you go, you close this video and you go learn about number conversions and then you come back and watch this as a recap, as a revision. So I'm going to write two uh, hexadecimal numbers right here. I'm going to write uh, B, one, A, C. And again, hexadecimal numbers are, the, are represented from zero to nine. And then there are six letters, A, B, C, D, E, F. And they represent uh, numbers 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So there's an F right there. Let me just scroll this a little there. Yeah. So, I mean, these are the numbers these letters represent. So B right here represents 11. So this is one hexadecimal number. And let me write another hexadecimal number. And I'm going to write C, E, 2, and F. All right. This is my other hexadecimal number. And now I'm going to add them. So first C plus F. Now we have C is equal to 12 and F is equal to 15. So 12 plus 15 is equal to 27. So now we have to convert this into hexadecimal format. And again, if you haven't learned about conversions, I suggest you go learn it in another website. So let me just do that right here. So 27, it goes one time and 27 minus 16 is 11 <clears throat> no 27 minus 16 yes it's 11 so this right here will be equal to 1 and b so 1 will be carried right here and b will be written right here now 1 plus a is 11 because a is 10 and 11 plus 2 is 13 now 13 is represented by d so i'm going to write a d right here 1 plus e E is 14 and 1 is 1, 1 plus 14, 15, which is represented by F. So I'm going to write F right here. And B plus C is 11 plus 12. Now 11 plus 12 is equal to 23. All right. And 23, again, we, since 23 does not lie in here in this range, so we have, con we have to convert this decimal number into a hexadecimal number. And all of these are decimal numbers right here 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And they are represented by hexadecimal format A, B, C, D, E, F. So again, I'm going to write 16 right here, 23. It goes one time in 23. And 16 minus 20, 23 minus 16 is 7. Right? So I'm going to write a 7 right here. So basically, since there is no other number which I can carry the one to, so I'm going to write one seven right here as a whole. So this will be the sum of my two hexadecimal numbers right here. I'm going to write addition right here. So this is the answer of the sum of these two hexadecimal numbers. Similarly, if you want to subtract hexadecimal numbers, I'm going to give you an, another example. And I'm going to write it with a color red. So let me write D, two, one, and C. This is hex. And I'm going to write here A, one, and I'm going to write seven, 
and I'm going to write um, let's write F right here just to make it a little bit interesting so now we know that uh, a let me write this here again a b c d e f and a starts a is 10 b is 11 c is 12 d is 13 e is 14 f is 15 so we know that c is 12 and f is 15 so 12 minus 15 no we have to carry one number from here so this is going to become zero and this is going to be uh 12 plus 16 because we I mean the, the one we carried right here is 16 so we have to add it with 12 so 12 plus 16 is equal to 28 now 28 minus 15 is how much 28 minus 15 is 13 and 13 is D so I can write a D right here now since 0 can 7 cannot be subtracted from 0 I'm going to carry a 1 right here and I'm going to add 0 plus 16 right here let me just uh, 0 plus 16 so I'll get a 16 right here now 16 minus 7 is how much 9 so I'm going to write a 9 right here and 1 minus 1 is 0 and D minus a D is 13 a is 10 so D minus a is 3 so this is my subtraction result by subtracting these two hexadecimal numbers so again if you guys found this a little bit confusing i suggest you go learn about number conversions in another website and i'm doing this because addresses in the c language are represented by hexadecimal numbers and in the next video we're going to be learning about pointer arithmetic how we can add and manipulate uh, addresses and how we can perform arithmetic operations on them so thanks for watching the video